Rob Bushway with GottaBeMobile.com. A couple weeks ago, Warner posed me a question about whether Apple had shown a little bit of their hand with Leopard in regards to some things coming maybe with Touch, um, maybe a year down the road, maybe something that shows that Touch is in their path in regards to Leopard and a MacBook and what have you. So I, I told him, you know, I, I, um, I posted a response telling him there were, there were some things that um, led me to believe that some things were in the works, but this is not a touch-optimized OS, and it would frankly frighten me a lot if this were a if this were actually a touch system. So if if Apple is indeed working on the rumored app, Apple tablet, as has been reported in the last week and has been ongoing rumors for the last five years. There are some things that would need to be done. Um, doesn't mean they're not doing it, but it just means that this current um, this current iteration of Leopard, which just came out a couple weeks ago, um, would need to be optimized. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of things um, that are done well that maybe show their hand a little bit, and then I'm going to show you a couple of things that. Um, that gives some ideas about mm, this would be a little bit of a struggle. Uh, this would mean that they need to work on some things. Before we get started, of course, we need to thank TechSmith, our Ink Show sponsor. I invite you to go to TechSmith.com and check out Camtasia Studio and Snagit, as well as their other fine products. So I'm going to go ahead and set up. I'm going to take the camera. We're going to focus it in on the MacBook and let you take a look. And we're going to pretend that I'm using a finger when I'm not, and um, we'll be kind of kind of navigating around. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is a feature called Stacks. Um, stacks are over here on the um, on the right hand side of the dock. This is the dock. For those of you not not familiar with the with the Mac, this is a dock, and it's similar to the to the taskbar, the quick look on the taskbar in Vista and in Windows XP, and that you can throw a lot of quick shortcut stuff there. Well, they implemented this thing called a stack, and you can put folders there, like your my document, your your documents folder, your pictures, your music, and things like that. And when you click on it you get two different views. This first one is called the grid view. Okay, and what it does is it shows um, the most relevant items in a grid view in a um, easy to click and look kind of a thing. If you don't see the folder there that you want, then you can click show in finder, which is very similar to the Windows Explorer. Uh, so if I click show in finder, then we get the um, the Finder dialog box and let us navigate the Documents folder. So we have the grid view and then we have what's called the fan view. Uh, I'm going to click on the pictures stack and as I click that then we have um, the items within that view show up right there. And so I can find the one that I want and click on it. So I'll click on the Camtasia Studio icon and it will pop up in the viewer, in the previewer. Okay, so that's a quick look at how stacks work. Now just imagine that's your finger. So I click on that and when I click on it then we have a little grid view pop up and then I can click on the folder to take me straight to the folder. Now you do notice that once you get into this folder, things get a little bit smaller. Um, you know, but in this, I can click on the folder, and things would then pop up over to the right. So, for example, uh, let me see if I can get to the hard disk, and then if I click on users, things. This is in a column format, um, so then I can send things over that way, okay? 
And so you can imagine with your finger, you can just press, keep pressing that until you find the one that you want. So you can press movies, or we'll just press library, and then come over here and press caches and desktop, etc. And it just keeps on going over there. A little bit of a side step. I mean, uh, side display there um, on the finder. That's how that works. So getting back to the stacks, um, if I'm in Safari, for example, I can grab a, I can grab something like, let's say I wanted to grab this image. I can drag it down here to, which is basically a shortcut, if you will. I can, I can drag it over here and put it in pictures, which is basically a shortcut to the pictures. And, and, and uh, then it's there. So when, when I hit the pictures stack, imagine I'm touching it, then I can then go boom, boom, and then I'm there. So just imagine this is a touch-based system. You have um, some easy, already built-in kind, of, uh, kind of mechanisms to get going, okay? So that's that. That's, that's one of the things that um, show to me and also to Warner um, and, and, and to some other folks that Apple might be showing a little bit of their hand with that. You can tell that things are very well spaced. It's very suitable to touch. You have the fan view and then you have the grid view. And this grid view expands with the more things that you put in it. So let, let me see if I can, I'm going to drag something else over there. Um, I'm going to drag the library. Let's, let's put the library down in there just for grins. Okay. So I'm going to click the library. Now that went straight to a grid view because it was too big for a fan. Okay. So I went straight to, to the grid view and so I, I can go this and this and then I'm there. Or I can just click show and finder and you notice how big everything is everything is big especially these icons for touch okay so that's a quick look at stacks and we've already taken a look at the finder window um, and I'm going to get into some of the 